The Battle of Tamaran took place on September 4, 1037 between Ferdinand, Count of Castile, and Bermudo III, King of Leon. Ferdinand, who had married Bermudo's sister Sancha, defeated and killed his brother-in-law near Tamaran after a brief war. As a result, Ferdinand succeeded Bermudo on the throne. Ferdinand's father, Sancho the Great, who was Joruxaris Count of Castile, had entrusted his son with the county as early as 1029. In 1034 he had conquered the imperial city of Leon and forced Bermudo to take refuge in remote Galicia. After Sancho's death in 1035 Bermudo returned to Leon and launched a war for control of the Tierra de Campos, the territory between the Cea and Paisuerga rivers, long disputed with Castile, which was nominally a Leon's vassal. The dispute dated back to the 10th century. Under Sancho the Great the region had been united to Castile, and Ferdinand considered it as his wife's dowry. Recently, Gonzalo Martinez Diaz has disputed this thesis, first enunciated by the Historia Silence in the 1110s. He finds no evidence for any discord between Castile and Leon in the years 1035-7, and the lands between the CEA and Paisuerga, controlled by his father, do not seem to have been controlled by Ferdinand. What is certain is that the war in which he lost his life was initiated by Bermudo. Ferdinand, who also had a claim to be the heirless Bermudo's successor through his wife, was forced to call on his brother Garcia Sanchez III of Navarre, because the Leon's forces greatly outnumbered his own. In the ensuing battle, Bermudo fell from his horse, Pileo e all, and was surrounded and killed while trying to approach Ferdinand. Seven of his knights died with him. Autopsies performed in the 20th century showed that he had received 40 lance wounds, many in the lower abdomen, typical for dismounted knights. After the death of Bermudo his army probably evaporated, there is no further discussion of the battle in the sources, the king's body is said to have been carried off the field. After his victory Ferdinand took possession of Leon after a brief siege and was accepted as Bermudo's successor, though he was not crowned in Leon until June 22, 1038. Bermudo was buried in the Panteón de los Reyes in the Basilica of San Isidoro in his capital. According to the Historia Silence, Chronica Nyrensis, and Chronicon Mundi, Bermudo crossed the Cantabrian border, Trancha Icto Cantabrancium Limite, i.e., the Paisurga, and engaged Ferdinand's super Vallum Tamaran. This is Tamaran, a suburb of Burgos in the Valley of the Sambal. The location of the battle in Tamara de Campos was first made in the 13th century by Rodrigo Jimenez de Rada. Tamara has never been called Tamaran, nor is it in a valley, though Rodrigo placed the battle near the river Carrion probably out of a confusion between the two. The earliest source to explicitly date the battle is Pelagius of Oviedo, who writes that Bermudo died in his tenth year, which he incorrectly makes 1032, though it was in fact 1037. The last document in which Bermudo appears is a donation to the monastery of Selanova on June 9, 1037. A document of January 9, 1038 refers to the reign of Ferdinand. These dates represent the termini postquem and antiquem of the battle, Bermudo's death. A certain psalter that once belonged to Ferdinand preserves the obituary Ovidum Veramudi Regis in Bello Pognator Fortis di Forferia Mensi Septembris Era TLXXV, Bermudo, King of Oviedo, in War a Strong Fighter, the fourth day of the month of September in the era 1075.